now what we're going to do is we're going to look at styling the uh, widget area where we're styling the heading and the body separately. And so in that case, the way this works is we'll come over here to our widget style to customization options. We're going to leave the widget background alone entirely, but we're going to customize the heading font and the heading background. This time we're going to use a background gradient. We're also going to customize the heading padding. And for the moment, we'll let it go at that. Come back here and we'll do some stuff with the border yet, but we'll let this go here. But we are going to customize the widget body padding. We're going to customize the widget body margin so we can separate the text from the header again. And we're going to customize the body background using a background image. Um, and I think I'm going to let that sit like that for the moment. So the first thing we'll do is we'll uh, change the heading font style. Again, we'll take that heading font up to 24 pixels. And uh, this time I think I'm going to change the font though. Let's just pick one of the Google fonts. I'm going to pick uh, Molengo. I don't remember what that looks like, actually. Uh, we're going to have normal spacing. We're going to get rid of all caps. We'll go ahead and center the heading text. We won't make it bold for the time being. And then for our background gradient, you can go to colorzilla.com gradient editor to uh, configure the gradient code. It just so happens I set one up here. It's actually quite simple. What I did was I picked a, a dark red color that I wanted to use, which was this color here that I wanted to use as my base. And then I picked a, a lighter version of that color for the edges. And all I did was just move up directly above the other color to pick a lighter version of that same color. Uh, and then I created, uh, well, I created these two stops. You can create a stop simply by pressing a button like that. I created these two stops, made the two edges lighter, um, and then went to dark here. And wh what I'm trying for is sort of a, a very slight variegation of of uh, coloration from uh, light to dark. So you can see that it's not flat, but uh, but it's not really clear uh, how different it is. Anyway, by the time I'm done with that, I have this whole group of text that I have to copy. So copy that text. Come back over here and paste that gradient text right there. And then in the padding, we're going to go ahead and give ourselves, say, uh, 10 pixels of padding all the way around it. We're not going to we're not going to configure the padding separately for the moment. And I think we'll just sit, hit save. Remember, this is style two, so we're going to come over to our widgets here. And we are working in widget block two. So I'm going to take column two here and select style two to apply to it. Come back over here and refresh this. OK. And so now we have our bright red, variegated red. And as you can, there it does go from light to dark in here. Uh, in a way that gives it a sense of depth. Uh, we've got that. I'm not, I don't, not, I don't love that text, so we're going to change that text. So we're going to come back over here to heading font style. Malango G is not the text. Let's pick Droid Serif. Let's try that. Yeah, okay, that's that's attractive. So now we've got a heading uh, that's kind of cool looking. 
Uh, the next thing we're going to do is style this body, and we're going to style the body with a background image. A few weeks ago, I introduced you to this site called Subtle Patterns, which has all these different very subtle patterns that you can download. And uh, in fact, this site is created with them, right? This black um, pattern and this light gray pattern were um, taken off of this site, Subtle Patterns. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, fabric pattern here. And actually, I've already downloaded it. Um, but you would just hit download. And then upload it to the media library. Or it probably belongs in your, um, in your custom folder. But for the time being, I've uploaded it to the media library. I need to go get it, though. It's this, color, this one right here. So if we hit edit, grab that color, and then come down here to our uh, body background image. We'll paste that image there. We want to repeat it in both the X and in the Y directions. And it doesn't really matter where it starts since it's starting in the X and Y direction. We're going to take our body padding and we're going to give ourselves 20 pixels of padding around this. And then our body margins, just like we did before, we'll go ahead and do 10 pixels on top and hit save. Come back over here and refresh it. Okay, there we go. So now we have this paper background, uh, 20 pixels of padding all the way around the text, 10 pixels of, of, of margin in between the two. And I think what we're going to do now is play with a border. So the, I think what we'll do is we'll wrap a border around this uh, paper. So if we come back over here to our customization options and say customize body border and hit save and then take our border style let's go ahead and make it one pixel let's pick a yeah let's pick a light gray let's make it solid let's save it and see what happens It actually gives it just a tiny bit of definition because the, the variegation of the of the paper no longer continues to the perimeter but go, stops right there. And if we wanted to, we could also give it a very slight drop shadow to give it a little bit of depth. And in this case, I would probably, if we're going to do that, you know, my artist friend Kim, who's been helping us with these sites, um, She's not a big fan of drop shadows, and she gives me grief for that. Drop shadows and gradients, she gives me grief for, but I kind of like them, so. In this case, let's just do two and two, and uh, get it slightly darker. Hit save. Refresh it. There you go. You know, maybe we just lighten that up maybe to make it not quite so strong. But you can see, you know, we've, we've given ourselves, we've come up with a very attractive uh, widget style. Um, the widget stands out nicely, is easy to read. It does not look like a uh, default thesis widget. And it's uh, relatively easy to do. Uh, recognizing, I think the most complex part of this is understanding how the padding and the margin work 